How do you feel like you've grown as a player? What, how much better are you now from when you got here? And where, where are the areas you feel like you've made the biggest strides, made the biggest differences? Um, I mean, I feel like I'm better overall as a player than when I got here. I'm stronger and quicker uh, than I was as a freshman. Um, you know, and last year and this year, the guys I've played against have made me better uh, every snap. Uh, I definitely, you know, made strides you know, after the Oklahoma game, playing against those guys from last year. Um, and then it went to Florida versus Dante Fowler. Got me better and then Missouri with Shane Ray got me better. Um, and then this year is the same thing, going against those teams have gotten me better each and every week. Um, so I think, you know, that's what, that's what makes you better as a player is being able to get all those reps and, and go against guys like that. And definitely going against guys in practice too, I mean, Corey Vereen, Derek Barnett, Kurt Majet. I mean, those are really good defense ends. Very good in the SEC. So um, they even made me better, and every snap that I could take with them was was crucial. For all the times, you know, obviously we've interviewed a bunch of these guys on, these team, uh, on this team and everything. Out of everybody we interview, it seems like you're the one guy that's kind of incapable of not being honest. They sort of, not that those guys are lying, but those guys do sort of stick to the talking points, and they sort of it seems like they kind of say almost exactly the same thing Butch says. It seems yeah. like every time we get something out of you, it's, it seems it comes straight from your heart, more or less, that it is genuine. How much, where does that come, I don't say where does that come from, but is that kind of, how much of an integral part of your personality is that, and how much do you think that part of you has made you a better leader because it allows, you know, allows kind of guys to trust you that way? Uh, I mean, I've always, you know, um, took in things as, you know, being honest and being loyal is two huge parts of me and who I am. Um, and, you know, ever, since I was growing up, I always wanted to be honest, and that's how I feel like I am. And, and when guys talk to me, when guys ask me questions, when they, when they you know, want to learn something, I'm honest with them. I don't, you know, I shoot them straight. I let them know how it is. And, you know, I'm loyal to them. If they're, if they're a good friend of me, I'm a good friend of them no matter what. Uh, and I feel like that, I mean, I feel like that's the best characters that you can have as a person, you know, and I want, you know, when I grow up, and you know, if I have kids, then I want them to feel that, they feel the same way as, you know, to be honest and to be loyal to people. Um, and I feel like that's expressed in, you know, everything that I do. I mean, I'm very loyal to this program. Um, I was at a young age, and I came here, and I've given everything I've got to that to this, so... Uh, I feel like that really is portrayed in everything that I do. Two real quick ones, I'll let you go. One kind of on the past, I guess. When did you start kind of caring about Tennessee football, I guess? when did, I know you were born in Texas, I guess that's what your bio says. When did you guys yeah. come here, and, and at what point in your life is Tennessee football important? Uh, well, we only, I was only in Texas for about a year, so right. I really don't remember anything. Okay. Um, but uh, my mom grew up in Clinton, Tennessee. My dad grew up in Michigan and moved down here and went to Farragut High School. Mm -hmm. uh, so they were always UT fans. Um, so they kind of instilled that in me when I was younger. Uh, and, you know, I think I went to my first game when I was six. Um, so it, it wasn't like there was a certain point where it was, mm -hmm. you know, put to me that it was important to be, you know, Tennessee ball. I feel like it's just always been there. It's always right. been in the back of your head. It's, and this is the team that you root for. Mm -hmm. You root for this color orange and this color orange only. Right. So, uh, yeah, I think it's been just, it's been in me for mm -hmm. as long as I can remember. So, what, What's your all time favorite UT team before ones that you played on? Like, do you remember a year, uh, like a group that you rooted for that, uh, that you really loved watching? I've got to think about this. Um, or a player for that matter when you were a kid. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I really love the late 2000s Tennessee. Um, even though, you know, it didn't end well in the late 2000s, I was like uh, middle school to high school range, yeah. and I really started watching them a lot more. Um, you know, I loved Eric Berry when he was here. I always thought he was awesome mm -hmm. uh, as a safety. And, uh, you know, Eric Ames was always a guy I looked up to. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that 2004 to 2007 era right. was really big for me. I went to both uh, the SEC championships we went to from in 04 to 07. 
Uh, we lost both of those, but I still, you know, I love the experience and, mm -hmm. and being able to see, you know, the UT Vols play in, in the Georgia Dome. Mm -hmm. You know, ever since then, that's kind of, you know, what I wanted to do right. was, was play there. So um, I think that definitely shaped me in my decision and, and in my, uh, you know, work ethic to what I wanted. So. Okay. Last thing, what's next for you? I guess when, you know, obviously I imagine you're going to try to make a, uh, an NFL push. Uh, what are your kind of hopes in that regard? And then beyond that, I guess, when, when football is done, what's kind of your next step? Um, I definitely want to try for the NFL. I mean, I love football. I love, you know, everything that's brought me. And I want to keep doing it for as long as I can. Um, you know, but once football is over, I can, you know, fall back on my education. And I was able to, because I got richer, get a master's degree, which right. I'm working on right now. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, you know, I plan on going into operations of football. Um, mm. I wanted to stay in sports, so my master's was in sports management. Right. And uh, I just feel like I'd be happy no matter what sport I'm in. And, mm. you know, ultimate goal maybe be an AD or, right. or a GM one day. There you go. Um, be able to, you know, lead my own team to, mm. to victory, so. All right, good deal.